This is Sam Bankman Fried. People call him SBF. He's the founder of FTX. He also controlled a crypto hedge fund called Alameda Research, but that's all gone now. He wants you to think he's this sweet guy. He even bought in a famous YouTuber who called him the most generous man in the world. Yep, that happened. Truth is, Sam Bankman Fried is a liar and a crook. His personal crypto FTX token was basically a Ponzi scheme hidden below layers of Moonbro jargon. He even went on Bloomberg's podcast and bragged about it. Yep, that happened. He used his Ponzi token as collateral to borrow billions of real dollars that he couldn't pay back. He then used those real dollars to build an empire out of dying companies like Voyager and BlockFi. This led Jim Cramer to call him the new JP Morgan. That's weird. It's not like Jim Cramer to promote a billionaire con artist. SBF sold people cryptos like Bitcoin, or so they thought. What they really bought from SBF was an IOU. But as long as everyone didn't cash in their IOU at the same time, the scheme worked. Until it didn't. This other a-hole who hates SBF came along and engineered a bank run with some passive-aggressive tweets. It worked. SBF didn't have enough money to repay everyone at once, and now his customers have lost everything. He'll be happy to know that this is exactly how every bank in the world operates. So where did all the money go? He misappropriated $4 billion trying to save his failing hedge fund. Whoops, that's a felony. He spent $21 million on Super Bowl commercials, $5 million for the big guy, $40 million in campaign donations. I wonder what he wanted in return. And everyone who's pointing at this story and saying, this is exactly why we need to regulate crypto. Remember that SBF stole billions. That's already a crime. And he spent a lot of it on bribing politicians, also a crime, in order to create a crypto monopoly for himself. Government regulations don't protect the customers, they protect the crooks. That's exactly what SBF was trying to do.